So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you wanna quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times. So, you wanna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As it's turning on, you wanna quickly turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times, it will then take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you wanna click on advanced options. And now once we're here, I wanna be showing you five different ways on how we can fix this problem. So for the first method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to repair. If you do not see start to repair, then you wanna click on see recovery options, then it should appear right here. So you wanna click on start to repair. It's now gonna start diagnosing your PC, see if this works for you. If that did not work, then for the second method, you wanna click on advanced options, troubleshoot, advanced options again, and then uninstall updates. You can try any one of these. So let's just say I wanna install the latest feature update. I'm gonna click on this, and then click on uninstall feature update. See if that works for you. And now for the third method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you have a restore point that's already been enabled on your computer, then you wanna click on next and then go back to your restore point. They should then fix your problem. If you do not have one, that's fine. We're gonna click on cancel. And now for the next method, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then startup settings. And then click on restart. And then once this comes up, we're gonna enable safe mode. So you wanna click on either four or F4 on your keyboard. So click on four or F4, wait for this to load. And then once you're in safe mode, you just wanna simply restart your computer. It should then take you back to Windows, see if that works for you. If that did not work, then you wanna come back to this screen like I show you how to do at the start of the video. And then once we're here, you wanna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And then once we're here, you wanna type in your Windows drive letter with a colon. For me, it's gonna be C colon. For you, it's also most likely gonna be C colon, but if it's something else, then you wanna type in your letter plus colon. And then click on enter. Now you're gonna type in cd space backslash windows backslash system32 backslash config and then click on enter. And now you're gonna type in md space backup4 and then click on enter again. And now we're gonna type in copy space star dot star space backup and then click on enter again. And now we're gonna type in cd space regback, click on enter again. And now we're gonna type in copy space star dot star space dot dot, click on enter again. And now you wanna type in A and then click on enter again. Now you just wanna close out of command prompt, continue to Windows, and then the prompt should be fixed. 